Okay. So you have Kaspersky Password Manager, and you probably heard that since it's developed by a Russian company, that your data might be a bit vulnerable if Russia decides it wants to do something nefarious like buying killer drones on Amazon using your Amazon login. So you export your password data to import it into another password manager, only to find out that you can only export text files, while the other password managers require CSV files. That's why I'm going to show you today how to convert your Kaspersky Password Manager text file into a CSV file. Just so you know, the process will only convert account data and notes, not bank cards, documents, or addresses. And I'll be using a Windows computer. Sorry, you Mac folks. But the process is probably similar on the Mac. To export your data, go to Settings, Import Export, and Export Your Data. Select your desktop to store the text file. Now when you open it, you'll see that the format is not CSV friendly since it's not laid out in rows and columns or comma or tab delimited data. And when you view the conversion instructions from the other password managers, they simply say, fill out their CSV templates with the data from the text file. Manually, of course. I mean, who wants to manually enter your 1,598 password entries for the next five years? So what we need is to convert this text file into a CSV file. Fortunately, a smart guy named Ben in a 1Passwords forums has created a Perl script to do this. He calls it the MRC Converter Suite. Simply go to the link we'll provide in the description and download the script. Open the zip file and copy the mrc-converter-suite directory directly to your desktop. Now to run Ben's script, you need to have Perl installed on your computer, which is the language Ben wrote the script in. In a browser, go to strawberryperl.com and download the package. Next, open the package and copy the file and directories. Next, create a directory named strawberry at the top of your C drive and copy the files and directories there. We now need to run the script from a command prompt. For Mac users, it's called terminal. The command prompt is just a low-level interface without all the fluffy buttons and icons and pretty graphics that Microsoft Windows laid over this interface, making it more friendly. To open the command prompt, press the Windows key and type CMD. You should see the item command prompt. Instead of clicking it, right-click on it and select Run as Administrator to make sure that you're all that on your computer. You will see a black window with a prompt that shows you where you are on the operating system. We basically want to go to the mrc-converter-suite directory under the desktop shown here in Explorer. To do that at the command prompt, first check the path. If it's in the form c colon backslash users backslash your username, then you're in good shape. Simply enter the command cd space desktop. However, sometimes the command prompt will be in a different area. If that's the case, we want to first get to the top of the C drive by entering cd space dot dot enter until you see the path c colon backslash. Once you see that path, you could then enter cd space users enter, then cd space your username. Then to get to the desktop, type cd space desktop enter. You can list the contents of the directory that you're currently at by typing dir enter. Now we want to go to the MRC converter dash suite directory by typing cd space MRC dash converter dash suite. Now that we're in the converter directory, we're going to first load some modules into memory and then run the script to read the Kaspersky text file and convert it to a CSV file. 
So type the following at the command prompt, followed by enter. In my case, I had already run the script, but once it's run, it should say that it's all done. Now, run the conversion script by typing the following. If it runs correctly, you should now see a new file on your desktop named mcs underscore converted dot csv. And that's the converted CSV file. When you open it using Excel or some other spreadsheet program, you'll see that the data is now neatly organized in rows and columns. The account login entries will be on top and the notes on the bottom. Now, to import data into another password manager, you need to use their templates, which are formatted so that the data is in the right place that they expect it to be. Simply go to their website and search for Import Template and download it. In this case, we'll look at NordPass. Download the template and open it. We now just need to put the data in the correct column. Let's put the two files side by side to make it easier. In the Kaspersky export and converted CSV file, let's first delete the empty row and header row above the notes. Now let's select all the data in the title column and paste it into the name column in the NordPass template. Copy notes to note and website URL to the URL column, login to the username column and password to the password column. If you'd like to always see the header name, simply select the row below the header and under the View tab, select Freeze Panes, then Freeze Panes. If you'd like, you can manually enter credit card information since it's not included. For credit cards, enter the name, cardholder name, card number, CVC, expiry date, and zip code. And if you want, enter a folder or category name. Let's add one more card. One thing to note is that the credit card number and date field may need to be in the correct format. Select the expiry date column and change the format to a month slash two digit year format. I tested it and if the year is in a four digit format, it will only use the first two digits. So 2024 will be 20. In the card number column, it's possible it may be in the exponential format. So to put it in standard number format, go to the formatting and select number. And since we don't want decimal places, make sure to remove them by clicking this button twice. So that's the process. If you're importing into another password manager, simply download their template and paste the data in the appropriate columns. To import the CSV file, Simply save the CSV file template for your given password manager and import it. In our case with NordPass, go to Settings, Import Items, click Other, and then select the CSV file. Best of luck!